Hey guys, today I'm burning Aloha Waikiki who lives in Hibiscus. Um, first of all, I want to apologize in advance because this is my very first um, YouTube video review. And the only reason why I'm doing it is because the candles that I've been wanting to purchase, they've actually, nobody's been doing reviews on them. And I've actually been waiting for reviews on a couple of them for about two weeks now. And... So far, nobody has reviewed them. Um, now, the bottom of this candle reads an exquisite fusion of plumeria petals, tiara blossoms, and a hint of sugarcane that transports you to the big island Aloha Paradise. Um, now, I do want to mention these candles are twenty two fifty now, so the um, the candles are no longer two four twenty; they're two four twenty five, but today um if you do go in the store and you have any survey coupons go ahead and you know buy three um the first two come to twenty five dollars the next one comes to twelve fifty so i mean you're still doing getting a little bit of a deal i guess but it's not as good as a two for twenty and i honestly don't know how much longer i'll be purchasing these candles um i do like them but it's just Two for twenty five or twenty two fifty a piece. I mean, it's it's a little bit of an increase, but you could buy better performing candles, scented candles from a couple other places. Now this is the three wick candle from Bath and Body Works, which is fourteen and a half ounces. The performance is awesome. I've had a, no issues burning this candle whatsoever. My only issue is I noticed this ca this burns quicker than most other Bath and Body Works candles. Uh, the wax is a white color, and usually with white wax, they tend to turn in a burntish, grayish, weird color towards the top, and it just it doesn't look good. Um, but anyways, I don't mind if it it'll start turning colors because I, I mean I'll just throw it in a candle sleeve. And the wax pool formed within 25 minutes, um, and the scent throw was there right away. It's not a super strong throw, but you can definitely smell it. You, you'll notice it. It's just not as strong as I'd like, but it, but it is noticeable. The throw travels. I'm burning it right now in my dining room, and I can smell it strong in the other bed, other rooms of the house. But in the dining room, it's a light scent. So it, it does travel. And I honestly, I don't know what plumeria petals or tiara blossoms smell like. But to me, this candle kind of smells like roses, like a rose bush, fresh cut roses. And mixed with a downy softener. I know downy is doing like the new um, scented downy stuff. And it's it's not it's not a bad scent. But it's just not one of those candles that I would go out and stock up and buy five of them. And it's, I mean, it's just, it's not, I, I like it. It's not the world's best scent or Bath & Body Works' best scent. It, it reminds me of a candle that they used to have maybe a year or two ago. I can't remember which one it is. But it's, it's nice. It's there. Um... I honestly don't think this candle is going to give me any issues at all because I lit it. Well, I, first I trimmed the wicks, lit it. It's burning. Um, I've, I've been burning this candle for two hours. It was brand new when I lit it today. And if you could see the wax pull, it's, it, it's a decent wax pull. Um, the wicks, however, are very are getting very long again so i'll have to blow this candle out and um trim the wicks up but like i said guys this is my first video youtube review um so if there's anything else you want to know go ahead and comment and thank you for watching and have a great day